What's up guys? Welcome to another vlog. I wanted to talk on this vlog about just how much the recital on Friday means to me. One thing that I was told over and over again growing up was that uh, I was never supposed to diverge from the traditional path, especially of a violinist. Uh, if you know anything about me, I was brought up and trained to be a classical violinist. For better or worse though, my musical path led me to many different things. Eventually I ended up really liking rock music a lot. I still do. And that led me to learning the guitar and the drums. And later on I would discover that I'm really quite interested in jazz and I still am. Um, and these are things I take pride in. Unfortunately, not everyone that was with me in my growing up years, both peers, teachers, and even my parents, many of them thought that I should be dogmatic about uh, just being a violinist. <laughs> you know, being a good violinist requires so much focus and energy and it's so competitive and to try and be good at it and other things at the same time even to me back in the day seemed pretty unrealistic but there was a part of me that just wanted to try I just had to be good at other things because in my head the things that I could hear myself composing and performing went well beyond the classical realm. And for me to be able to play things that went well beyond the classical realm meant being good at other things than just the violin. I don't know how many times, especially in college, I was told that playing guitar and guitar specifically was such a waste of time <laughs> and rock guitar at that but you know nothing could stop me <laughs> there were specific points especially in my undergrad when teachers would tell me that you know I could be one of the best violinists in the world or whatever if all I did was focus on the violin but that just wasn't me I want to play so much more than just Mozart and Beethoven and Mozart and Beethoven are incredible musicians and they wrote great music don't get me wrong but uh, you know my tastes and what I saw myself playing and performing went well beyond the classical realm as I mentioned you know none of my college professors could stop me None of my private instructors in violin could stop me from dabbling in things that were other than the violin. You know, anything that is new and unheard of and unspoken of, especially in the realm of the arts, is going to be met with criticism. You know, criticism was all I heard growing up when I started going into things like uh, Paul Gilbert and 
Guthrie Govan and um, like Joe Satriani and things like that in Dream Theater. You know, people are telling me that I should only be a violinist. You know, I my heroes should be Itzhak Perlman and Heifetz and Mozart and uh, what have you, the great son, the four string fiddle. <laughs> but you know, something in me just told me that I didn't want to be just a violinist. You know, it's just not what I want to do with sound art, with music. <laughs> Anything new and innovative will be met with opposition. And I'm saying that because uh, it's important to recognize that, but I also if you're trying to do anything new, I want to encourage you to keep doing it. Do your art. It doesn't matter what other people think, almost. Especially if you're not hurting anyone. You know, I was not breaking any moral laws or whatever, or, you know, uh, disobeying God or whatever <laughs> by learning how to play guitar or getting better at the drums or singing or whatever. I wasn't doing anything wrong by not focusing on the violin solely for the rest of my life. I think I would have done myself and others a disservice if I didn't do things that were outside the classical realm. And you know, history is filled with great violinists and great guitarists and great drummers. <laughs> I think for me, the way to stand out was to be able to write and compose for all my favorite instruments as possible. And I might not become a super amazing out of this world virtuoso on one particular instrument, but that's okay because I think I am accomplishing being really quite good at more than one thing. I don't think. I'm necessarily being a jack-of-all-trades because a jack-of-all-trades guy uh, that term implies that someone might be dabbling in several things but he's really good at nothing and that's honestly not quite my case and this is why the recital on Friday is so important to me because once and for all I somehow prove to myself and to a lot of people that you can be good at more than one thing, especially in music. In this recital I'll be playing violin and guitar tunes. These are two things that I love to play in the world. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I love classical music, but I also love rock, I do, uh, and other genres. and. I have dreamed for a long time of being able to play both genres of the same recital. It just screams me. <laughs> and that might sound selfish, but really I, I am so excited to play on Friday. Because I get to showcase two things that I'm good at and competent at. And I'll be able to combine both of them into one thing. And I've wanted to do this for so long. So I am so thankful to the San Jose Academy of Music and Miss Ophi for letting me do this. Um, you know, I'm at a point now in life where my versatility is really earning the income. <laughs> People grow, uh, in my growing up years were telling me that, you know, Learning the violin alongside the guitar and the drums is a waste of time. But here I am today, and I stand before you to say that, you know, I'm, I am earning income because I am teaching all of those instruments. <laughs> if you are an artist, don't give up on your dreams. Be good at as many things as possible. I think that's the way to find your own unique voice. And that's how you diverge from the traditional path that's taught in school or what have you. 
anything that is new will be met with criticism. And so if people are criticizing you for doing something completely new and apart from the traditional way of doing things, I applaud you because you and I are the same in that respect. You should keep doing what you're doing. Don't be afraid to do you. <laughs> do you. Do you. Uh, that's it for Vlog 28. I hope to see you guys on Friday, November 17th at the San Jose Academy of Music. I love you. God bless. Peace.